Welcome to Bradford City. You must you must be delighted. How does it feel? Uh, no, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, it feels great. It's a, it's a, I'm honoured to to sort of be signing for for such a big club um, with such a great history. So I'm I'm delighted to be here. Okay, why did you decide to choose Bradford as your next club? Uh, I felt like it was the right stepping stone for my career um, in terms of development and and being at a place where it's the right environment for me to to reach my full potential. You mentioned developing there, so why do you think Bradford City is the right place for you to develop your career? I think with with the facilities, the the backroom staff, uh, the players they have, I think I can learn a lot and and it'll be like a real sort of educational point of view in terms of football for me. And after playing at development level over in Leicester, are you excited to get some first team experience in the EFL? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really excited. I think uh, I'm ready now for men's football and this is the this is the place I want to be. This is this is where I want to be at. The club has just signed a new young head coach as well, the youngest in the football league. How do you think you'll thrive under Michael Collins? Uh, I think I think it'll be good for me. I think I'll I really excel under him. Uh, he seems like a a really good coach, um, and I feel like it will suit my suit my kind of game. So you pushed for title last season and made one of the highest appearances in the team. Um, do you think you can bring some of that fight and desire to Bradford? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm coming here looking to fight for my position, uh, looking to work hard week in, week out, day in, day out in the training ground. Um, so I feel like I'm, I'm going to bring a lot to this club. As one of the younger lads, what do you think you can learn from some of the more experienced players at Bradford City? Uh, I think I can learn, learn pretty much everything to do with the game. I feel like with some of the experience at this club, uh, it will be key for me just to even just sit down and listen to some of them. But training day to day, I'll pick up a load of stuff. And you were nominated for the Development Squad Player of the Year last season uh, at Leicester. Has that made you even more hungry to progress and show off what you can do here? At yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, I mean, it's always it's always nice knowing that your your hard work's getting noticed and recognised. Um, and sort of with that being on the back end of last season, I'll be I'll be looking to come in pre season, uh, raring to go again. And what are your key attributes as a player? Uh, I feel like physically, physically, I'm 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 really good. I mean. Being able to get up up and down the pitch, I can do that for for ninety minutes quite easily. And at the end, like when I do get up there, my crossing, I feel like that's that's the best thing I've got in my lock on my crossing. Um, and I mean, when when you've got a big man to get on the end of it, I feel like I can get a lot of assists. Great. And what are your hopes for this season? Uh, my hopes is for, first of all is to break into the the first team starting lineup and and sort of solidify my place, um, play week in, week out and sort of find my feet at this club, uh, hopefully towards the end of the season be pushing for a promotion. And um, there's quite a lot of competition at Bradford City, are you willing to fight off some of the old lads to fight for your spot? Yeah definitely, I'm not, I'm not here just to, just to be a, a squad member, I'm here, to, I'm here to start, I'm here to play football.